Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Bing as the web browsing plugin in your ChatGPT account. So as you can read here, the Bing browsing plugin or the browsing tool in ChatGPT can be used to interact with real-time data from the internet, pulling in information from the web to answer questions or to provide more up-to-date information. Here you can see 10 use cases. I will add a link to an article in the description below where you can check out these use cases. But first, let's talk about how you can enable web browsing and Bing in your ChatGPT account. So currently, web browsing is only available available for plus subscribers but based on recent news this might change soon because browsing might be enabled for all users but currently only plus subscribers are able to use the browse with Bing plugin in ChatGPT and you also have to enable it as a beta feature so if it's not enabled when you select GPT-4 here you have to click on your account name select settings and select beta features and make sure that browse with Bing is enabled here and once it's enabled all you have to do is select the GPT-4 here to select browse with Bing and let's see an example so let's say we want to get the Bitcoin price in the last seven days and based on that data give us some analysis of the Bitcoin price movements. So this is the simple prompt I have added. Give me the BTC USD price in the last seven days. And based on that, give us an analysis on the Bitcoin price. Then click on generate. And as you can see, the browsing the web plugin is enabled because we can see this green slail. Now, ChatGPT has used Bing to search for the Bitcoin USD price in the last seven days. Clicked on that coingecko.com result. It has read the content. Now I finish browsing and it gives us the response to our ChatGPT prompts. So over the past seven days, the price of Bitcoin has seen some fluctuations. Here's a brief analysis based on that data. So the price range has varied between 26,000 and 27,000 USD. We can see some trends here. So the general trend over the past week seemed to be slightly bearish. The price experienced several days of decline with most significant decrease happening on May 19th. So as you can see, here's how you can use the Bing web browsing feature inside the ChatGPT to get real-time data from the Bing search engine and use that data to power up your ChatGPT results. If you want to learn more about other ChatGPT plugins, make sure to check out my YouTube channel. And if you want to get access to all available ChatGPT plugins with the press prompts you can use those plugins with, make sure to check out the link in the description below where you can get access to this database for absolutely free.